Starting in a methodical manner, choose a piece to start with, top to bottom. Always start by digitising in the straight of grain, and always click from left to right. To begin digitising, you'll need to locate the correct button on the cursor. The correct button for straight of grain is button A. Start at the left hand corner of the piece. The correct button for a corner point is button 2. From the bottom left hand corner you can now begin working in a clockwise direction. This element is a curve and the correct button for a curve point is the button C. The next element you can see is a notch and the correct button for a notch is button 6. After the notch the curve continues so we go back to using button C. At the shoulder notch we will return to the button we used for the previous notches, button 6, and then continue along the curve using button C. Using the crosshair as a guide take care to ensure that you stay on the edge of the pattern and in the centre of your notch points as this will affect the overall accuracy of your digitised pattern. At the top of the curve is a corner point and the correct button for this is button 2. Take this moment to look at your screen, you should now clearly see your work. If the next element appears to be a straight line then you can move to the following corner point and mark it with button 2. Continue to work around your piece until you approach the point where you started. Always finish your piece by picking a point just before your start point and press F0 on the cursor to end the piece. Begin the process again with the other pattern pieces. Begin with the straight of grain using button A. If you have darts in your piece, these points should be digitised just after you've done the straight of grain. The button for darts is the drill hole button, button 3. Place your cursor on the apex of the dart and work round in a clockwise direction. Once we have digitised all the darts on this pattern, we can move to the left hand corner of the piece and begin working round in a clockwise direction. Button 2 for corner points. Button C for curve points. Make sure you add enough curve points to describe the curve accurately. Button 2 again for a corner point. And again, button 2 for another corner point. Button 2 for this last corner point, and then button C for the following curve points. Button 6 for the notch, and then back to button C for the curve points. Button 6 for another notch and then again back to button C for the following curve points. Button 2 for a corner point and back to button C for curve points. Button 6 for a notch and then the final curve points. Select a point just before the start point and press F0 to end digitising your piece. Let's repeat the process one more time, starting with the straight of grain button egg. Next is the darts, using button 3 and moving clockwise marking each drill hole. Down to the left hand corner point and work in a clockwise direction, round the curve and up to the corner point. The next element is straight so we can move to the following corner point. Round the next curve 
and in the middle of the curve is a notch. Continue round the curve up to the following corner point. Continue along the curve making sure you mark enough points and then mark a notch making sure that you're central in the notch. Carry on marking points along the curve and along to another notch. Mark the further curve points before you reach the corner point. We will now move through the series of following corner points until we reach the final point for our digitising process. To complete the digitisation of all of our pieces, we press FF on the cursor just before the start point as we have before. Now you can go look at the screen and see your digitised pattern pieces.